Item number SCP-3278. Index. Mother Earth, Father Sky. Object class. Euclid. Special containment procedures. SCP-3278 is to be sealed over with a concrete dome capable of withstanding impacts of over 490,000 newtons. Access by testing drivers is to be accounted for. The water immediately surrounding scp 3278 dome is to be heated to a temperature of approximately 70 degrees C. This is to be accomplished with three diesel-powered water heater furnaces installed in the seafloor. Vessel 3278 is to be permanently anchored above SCP-3278 to house testing staff and perform general surveillance. Naval traffic is to be diverted from a 5km radius around SCP-3278. Any reports of extraterrestrial falling objects in close proximity to SCP-3278 are to be intercepted and explained as meteor showers. Description SCP-3278 is a tunnel extending exactly 402 meters into the sea floor at 9 degrees 52 minutes 2.8344 seconds north, 139 degrees 3 minutes 11.376 seconds west. SCP-3278 is circular in shape, has a diameter of 20 meters, and tapers to a 2 meter aperture at the sea floor entrance. The limestone walls are polished and etched with shallow channels arranged in waved patterns. SCP-3278 possesses no known anomalies in and of itself, but is the center of other anomalous phenomena. At the base of SCP-3278 is a large spherical chamber. In the center of this chamber is suspended a sphere of biological matter with a radius of 16.73 meters. This entity, hereby referred to as SCP-3278-1, does not deviate in position and attempts to move it by force are unsuccessful and usually result in superficial damage to its fragile exterior. SCP-3278-1 is light orange in color, jelly-like in outer consistency, and is composed of a meter-deep translucent outer membrane surrounding a firm fleshy core. Vein-like structures which cover the outer shell are filled with a pale purple liquid bearing cellular structures roughly analogous to blood cells. Genetic testing of tissue taken from the core of SCP-3278-1 reveals an approximate 60% overlap with the human genome, but the remaining 40% is completely unidentifiable. At intervals ranging between one month and seven years between reoccurrence, extraterrestrial objects fall through the atmosphere and impact with an estimated 4 km radius around SCP-3278. These entities, hereby referred to as SCP-3278-2, are previously unknown, presumably alien organisms. Anywhere from 22 through 295 instances of SCP-3278-2 have been recorded at a time. SCP-3278-2 are aquatic in nature and lack any apparent sensory organs. SCP-3278-2's biology consists entirely of a pale purple ellipsoid head structure conjoined with a long muscular tail. Instances range from approximately 10 through 16 meters in length and can weigh up to 195 kilograms. SCP-3278-2 is protected by a hard mineral-like shell during flight that is shed upon contact with seawater. Genetic testing of SCP-3278-2's tissues reveal a similar 60-40% through 40 similarity with the human genome. The unidentifiable 40% largely matches SCP-3278-1, but deviates by 2%. No instances of SCP-3278-2 have survived more than five minutes in captivity. Upon impact, all instances of SCP-3278-2 will begin to swim vigorously using their flagellum toward SCP-3278. It has been observed that SCP-3278-2 are extremely vulnerable to both large predators such as sharks, of which there is a non-anomalously enlarged local population, and to temperature dying in minutes when exposed to temperatures exceeding 60 degrees C. This was initially discovered on 0602, when especially warm summer currents increased the surface temperature to an inhospitable level. SCP-3278-2 also have very short lifespans, 
and the majority of instances die of natural causes before ever reaching SCP-3278. SCP-3278-2 will attempt to access SCP-3278 through the aperture in the seafloor. This is accompanied with difficulty due to the smaller size of the opening. It is hypothesized that if an instance of SCP-3278-2 ever gained entry into SCP-3278, it would be at the cost of significant damage to its head structure. In most cases, multiple instances of SCP-3278-2 survive the descent and jostle for entry. No entry of SCP-3278-2 into SCP-3278 has ever been recorded. It is unknown if entry attempts were successful before Foundation discovery of 3278 on 1205. The results of entry are completely unknown. Continued research into the biological properties of SCP-3278-1 and SCP-3278-2 is recommended in order to predict the possible outcome of contact. <laughs>